and welcome back to Terror Hand, where um, today, well, not actually today, but um, today is patch day for Terror Hand. I mean, the patch has been uh, out for like almost a week already, but yeah, you know, I kind of uh, recorded before the patch was released, so yeah, there we go. We are right now though on version 0.9.10, and um, this new patch has brought quite a few things, bug fixes and whatever have you, but... All of that is of minor importance compared to the big thing that has been added, and that is over here. If we go to the Diplomacy tab here, look, the Shonland Goblin Kingdom is now available uh, for Diplomacy. Yep, we can do things with it, or at least, well, <laughs> not that many, but we can do like, well, insult them or appease to them. However, you know, I mean, <laughs> they're green skins. Evil green skins. They've tried to murder us on more than just one occasion. In fact, <laughs> for the past 13 years, <laughs> they've been trying to kill us. So, what do you think? Will we appease them? Make friends with them? After they've killed heroes of our military and other oh, gnomes as well. No. Oh hell no, <laughs> we are never going to be friends with the Greenskins. Screw them and their evil and primitive ways. No, we're gonna send them an insult. So... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I need to send them an insult that is like an actual stock? <laughs> oh cool, I can send their stuff. <laughs> How cool is that? Shall we send some sausages? <laughs> can I send corpses even? No, no, I can't send corpses. Oh, I need to actually send someone over there as well to... <gasps> Ooh, okay. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, alright, let's send an insult to them. Do we have corpses? No, we don't have corpses. You know what? We're gonna send an insult to them. <laughs> that's gonna top it off <laughs> above everything else. We are gonna wait for these green skins to show up. We're then gonna murder their raiders and then we're gonna send them back to their kingdom. <laughs> Maybe we can even chop them up in pieces uh, a bit, you know? Like, uh, I don't know, chop off a head or something and then send that back. Oh man, yeah, we're definitely gonna insult them. We're gonna insult them till there's no tomorrow. Now, um, that's the big patch feature, and uh, the intentions of terror hand cleared out here. <laughs> um, what are we going to do? Well, um, remember the big secret project? Remember that we had lava right down here at the ready to be pumped into this trench now. Um, I think that it is about time that uh, you know, we make progress over here and um, well before we start doing all kinds of stuff um, I think we should dig out where uh, the lava is gonna go you know make like the final area and shape for it so um, yeah let's uh, get some digging orders assigned shall we There. Now, that's pretty nice for, you know, the shape. It doesn't need to be that big, but it definitely needs to be one big feature that will fit onto the screen. I mean, <laughs> you know, this is just for me, because I want to be able to see it. So. There. Now, well, let's uh, hook that up towards over here, so that we can start the digging. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think it wouldn't be such a bad idea to dig out these places as well because we do need to light this up i mean this is at the level where enemies can spawn so um, yeah let's uh, get the digging done right and we have somebody trying to leave here already well let's quickly open up the trickler so that we can see this merchant out and uh, by the way um quite a few people made some suggestions to me uh, about you know Optimizing the trickler, you know, making it so that I don't need to manually let them out and all that. And um, just to, you know, make notion of it that, yes, I also want to optimize this so we don't have to do this. But so far, I am not really sure about the best method, you know. I mean, I've had some suggestions. They were nice, clever, uh, complex, and, you know, mix in between. And, um, 
I appreciate it, but I haven't made any decisions yet. Though, you know, well, I just want to say, like, yeah, I am working on it, but, you know, I haven't really decided, so, there. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll let the merchant out. Right, so, um, yeah, <laughs> now, this is a little bit of an issue over here, of course, but, um, yeah, that's not really the biggest issue. Now, uh, here's what we're gonna have to do. Before we pour in the lava from uh, down over here, I kind of need to have this, uh, shape be in its definitive material, because, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? When there's lava over there, that could become a little bit more difficult. So, um, yeah, now, here's the plan. We're gonna have this be aligned with gold. Now, of course, the floor isn't that important, because, uh, yeah, we need the lava there first, and we can worry about the floor later, but I do need the walls to be all made out of solid gold. Gold? <laughs> yeah, gold, you heard that right. We're gonna go bonkers mad on this, and um, gold is a part of it. Now, we do have some gold, and in fact, let's take a look at how much we have. Oh yeah, gold. <laughs> yeah, you definitely heard that right. <laughs> it's gonna be glorious, grand in every way. Let's see here. We have, at the moment, 125 gold bars. That's like a good 60, or, um, <laughs> 125 gold ore. That's like a good 60 gold bars, and we already have 8. So that's, like, 86 gold bars. But, um, if we just take, like, a quick count on how many we need... This is already 50, <laughs> and then... There's the two on the, uh, you know, on the end tips, so <laughs> that would pretty much eat through our gold supplies already. Oh, <laughs> and then there's also another 60 over here, and that's only for the wall tiles, but we are going to do it, and <laughs> there's no holding us back. Now, the floor will be covered in lava, so it doesn't really matter what kind of material that is, however, just for the niceties, we're going to replace the floor as well, and uh, we're going to have... Um, basalt as a floor, you know, engraved basalt, yeah. Right then, um, yeah, I'll uh, get to setting this up with the right orders and all that. Oh, howdy there, mant worker. Um, I was kind of hoping that you were goblins, but no. Wait, what? You're the only mant worker, really? Were you like some mant that we didn't kill, or is the rest of your party coming later on? Um, it seems that the latter is true. Right then, thanks for disturbing me, and here I thought that we had a full-blown invasion going on. Nothing is more from the truth. However, look at this. These are our very first golden walls. Oh yes. I quite like the look of them, to be honest, but... Of course, I want to know how much they're worth. So, let's take a look. A gold wall. Two... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is going to be grand. <laughs> like, quite literally. I mean, our kingdom's worth is going to skyrocket with the big secret project. Though, eh, perhaps it isn't that secret anymore. <laughs> I mean, anybody who kind of knows the emperor uh, a little bit knows more or less what's going to happen with the big secret project. But he's not revealing it. So, anyway, yeah. Uh, we got some more work to do over here. And, um, yeah, let's uh, get some more done, right? For some reason, our gnomes do not want to clean up malachite ore. So that leads me to the conclusion that perhaps our storage space for malachite ore, yeah, <laughs> is kind of filled up. You know what, let's uh, get some extra crates out here so that they can uh, take all that stuff away. I mean, I do want, you know, that, well, marvelous shape to be cleaned. I don't want any debris <laughs> of uh, the construction lying in there. So yeah, let's uh, get some crates out there. But um, so, oh, oh, howdy, are you? Yeah, you are another man's worker. I don't get it. How do we get? Oh, I think I might know. Yeah, here, I think I might know indeed. So, what do we have over here? A lot of loose mans. Now, uh, we should go out and kill those, really, but the thing is that I don't really know when the last goblin invasion was, and I can tell you one thing, that these goblin invasions, if we are out here killing the mans and we're spread thin, and the goblins come, then it's game over, really. Terror hand will fall, I mean, especially now that we're building with gold down over here. And, uh, yeah, so, um, we're gonna leave the mans to their own devices, and, um, we are going to fill this up. Now, you might wonder, like, why I've dug, like, um, you know, some paths in parallel around here, and that is purely for filling it up, because I know we are not going to fill this up, um, uh, you know, at once. So, yeah, I've built a path around it, and I see that I might have accidentally built a torch inside here. But um, the path around here really is so that we can replace the walls later on when we you know, get more gold. I mean, of course we can do more right now, because this is far from all our gold, but... You know, I'm just thinking ahead for the future here, so... Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Alright, I had to sneeze there, so... Anyway, yeah, looks quite nice. Uh, but, yeah, you know, dirt walls, and the good thing here is that we can just... You know, see if we fill this uh, stretch up over here, you know? What we can then do is um, replace some more walls with uh, gold and then just dig this dirt away from above. So that way our gnomes are never in any danger of uh, getting in touch with lava. You know, <laughs> I mean, we need to, you know, keep the safety of our gnomes above anything else, of course. So, yeah, there you have it. You know, that's the construction plan. And, uh, yeah, I hope it will work out well. Now, if our gnomes can clean this up, we can get some actual lava going in here soon. This is annoying, because there is still this one marble block here, of which I'm pretty sure that there is no storage space for them. Because... 
Uh, do we have those marble blocks? Uh, do we, oh, <laughs> I should be <laughs> going up towards the stoneworks. herp a derp Right, um, how many of these marble blocks do we have at the moment? Oh, we can, we can actually store those. And there is, a, you know, the stockpile is active, so... Um, stockpile? <laughs> I mean, clean up! <laughs> now! Right, I'll wait for this till it's finished, and then we'll have the first uh, lava up there. Hmm, it seems that our gnomes are just refusing to clean up the marble block. I don't get that, so just to be sure... Um, over here, we do accept marble blocks. We do. Um, <laughs> somebody please explain to me why they are not cleaning this up. I mean, it is very important that they do so. Maybe I should uh, place more crates down here. You know what? We will do. So, just to be, be sure that we have enough space in any case. Uh, let's see. No. There. Great! Build me two more pine crates, gnomes. Oh, come on, game! Really? Don't be so annoying and take my camera away each and every time. I mean, <laughs> that's really annoying when you're building something. So, anyway, how come we spot man's... Oh, yeah, they're, of course, watching from out there into the castle. Yeah, that's why. Right then, well, now that we have the crates soon to be there... I mean, there's already one crate. Why are they not hauling up marble cubes? I mean, I literally don't understand why they're not dragging the one... Oh, well, it's actually two cubes from down over there up to that other place. Nope, nope, still not doing it. Alright, maybe I need to redesignate that. Just cancel this order for now. And then redesignate it. Maybe that will work. Turn green, click. Game? <laughs> really? <laughs> You're annoying. Oh man. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, gnomes. Alright, you know what? We'll make like a separate stockpile for this. Just a new one. Maybe they were the other one's bugged or something. I don't know. But. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, should, I know. I should have killed them. And it's my fault that I didn't, but still. Now, two marble cubes. Cube temp. Whatever, really. I wanted prior one because I need them out there right now. It's going to be a block and it's going to be made out of marble. So, gnomes, move stuff in there. I mean, yeah, it is a marble block. It's not like it's something else or anything. Move it! It is prior one. I don't get it. It's obviously not going uh, how it's supposed to be. So, you know what? We'll just pretend <laughs> that these blocks aren't there. And we're gonna leave these to be just there. Maybe it is because they're replaced or something that are different or whatever really. But we're just gonna pretend that they're not there. Besides, when the lava is high up, <laughs> we won't be able to see them anyway. So, there. Close that off. Game. Uh, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing is, all the mans we spot will home into our, uh, you know, <laughs> the trickler, and then they'll die. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get this built, and let's get some lava up there. Right, so, this is going to be the big moment then. I mean, the moment they start cranking with the three of them over here, we're going to fill up this mode. Oh, there it comes, there it comes. Now I need to be careful to not overfill it. <laughs> That's very, very important. So, yeah, I guess that this is the best view. Or maybe like this. I mean, I don't even know how much lava is down there. I do know that it was compressed quite a bit, so there should be enough. Alright, alright, alright. There. Oh, <laughs> we might have issues now. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely do have issues. I kind of forgot about the whole it uh, flowing very slowly. Oh, balls. Have I derped this up now? I hope I didn't. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, stop all this cranking, please, now. 
Ooh, an evac. <laughs> Run like hell. <laughs> I have a feeling that this might not go very well. Yikes. Oh, this is bad. Really, really bad. Though, then again, it seems to be behaving alright, actually. Yeah. Right then, we got it! 99% lava! Look at that, it's completely filled up. And um, you know what? We'll turn off the sounds for the hand cranks for now. Because uh, <laughs> it's bloody annoying to keep hearing that while well, nobody's cranking the pumps. But there, right, so how does that look, huh? I think it looks pretty slick, to be honest. But um, yeah, uh, let's take a look at it like this. You know that <laughs> you can barely see the gold. Maybe it looks a little bit better uh, if we leave the gold, or if we leave the lava a little bit lower so that we can actually see the gold wall. <laughs> I mean, now it's just a really tiny line. But, um, yeah, well, anyway, this is just the first part of it. We're going to fill up this entire shape. So, let's get on to it, right? Ooh, Ryan Ireland has cooked up something legendary. Let us check out what Ryan Ireland has cooked up. Uh, it's a loaf of bread, <laughs> but I knew that much. What? A loaf of bread. Oh wait, <laughs> that's that's an actual legendary bronze shield. I was like, what? <laughs> a loaf of bread called a shield, but no, it is an actual shield. Um, the scarring ball. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so that's basically it's a ball of bread that gives you a scar. Hmm. I don't know if <laughs> this bread is meant for eating, but I'm sure one of the gnomes in the kingdom will do so. Now I have noticed that quite a few gnomes are passing out from exhaustion, but my guess is that that is from going downstairs to grab the gold or to smelt at least <laughs> i hope that that's the case <laughs> uh, but anyway wow look at this by the way as well we got archer dudes here now fully equipped and fully at the ready what's your bow 72 you know what we're going to do we are going to set up our archers or at least one of them to be stationed over here so that it can shoot at mans you know when it's needed now for that uh, i got a plan in mind and uh, first of all <laughs> we need to kind of set this up so that um, there's at least always food drinks and ammunition and uh, we need all of that however um yeah all right so yeah all right all right all right i got a plan here
there. Now, that's the stockpile set up. Let us get ourselves a new squad. So that we can station our one archer dude over here. And he's not going to do anything when there's new enemies. Unlike, um, you know, the stone wanderers over here and the brute shanks down there. The archers are not going to be training. So we need to get them up here with a reasonable amount of skill so that they can immediately inflict some damage. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's get ourselves a new squad specifically for the one ranger. Uh, what's it gonna be? The Shimmery Itchers of Buzzard. <laughs> sure, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Alright, and you know what's even more funny? <laughs> that the Shimmery Itchers <laughs> is one person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> singular person for plural itching. Alright, anyway, now, um, what we also need is a new formation for this, and do I have the the terror snipers? Yeah, alright, so it's actually already set up. Uh, okay, so basically this perk is gonna be zero effective, because there will only be one squad over here. See, the thing is, how because how I plan to set this up is to just have like a guard uh, station over here and just station the one gnome in there. Now the problem is that if I were to set it up like, you know, uh, have this be one guard area and have like one squad man it, yeah, you know, all right, well, actually, we can't even have a one uh, guard area over these two places, I think. Or could we? I don't even know, but the thing is, you know, that at, what's gonna happen, even if, uh, if I do manage to somehow get that done, then they'll start wandering in between, and that's what I don't want. I want these snipers to be stationed up here till either they're going to sleep or till, <laughs> well, till forever, really, so, yeah. Well, um, anyway, we'll see how that turns out. I might, well, you know, fiddle about a little bit as well with the setup of this if it doesn't perform how I want it in this way. But so far, uh, I think that this would be the right way to set it up. Now, uh, I saw that Genesis had pretty high skills. So, yeah, Genesis. Oh, wait, actually, I can see that over here. You both got 72 in crossbow and you're a little bit lower. So, Genesis, you are from now on part of the shimmery itchers of Buzzard. <laughs> yep, you're the captain of yourself. <laughs> Very impressive, right? Now, let's set up uh, the guard area and see if he's able to take out uh, the mans, for example, that are just wandering around there. I mean, I would love that. Right, the shimmery itchers of buzzard. <laughs> what, what a name. <laughs> yeah, really. Alright, anyway, there. Right, so, now, I'll enlarge it up till there, and what should happen is that he will now move in here and start pelting away with bolts at his enemies. Now, in order to facilitate this, what we also need is... Yeah, we need to increase this up to two at least, because there's now one more place for these bolts to be stockpiled to. And I also need to ramp up the food production, because we now got an extra crate to fill. Yeah, look at that. Um, I definitely want this to be at least up to 128, at the very, very least. So, there. Uh, how's our brewing going on, though? We also need to add more to this, so, um, yeah, well, I'll just make, yeah, I'll, I'll set up the orders over here. There, so now we should be making more than enough sustenance for our one lonely sniper in this tower. So, yeah, let's see how this will go. I have every bit of faith in our sniper being able to take care of uh, of these mans. I mean, they seem to be stuck dancing here by seeing the yaks. So, yeah, I mean, it should be all good, right? 
And what are what are you doing out there? Why are you dancing like this? Is that hold on a second, what are I mean you are dancing because is it you who is seeing the mats? Could that be the case? Yeah, it seems it's them actually. And now they're stuck over here as well. Right, I now get why everybody's passing out from exhaustion. They're all stuck here. Genesis, mate, <laughs> we have dire need of you. Where are you and what are you doing? Genesis, um, yeah, let me check out what Genesis is doing. Because these mans are very annoying and... <laughs> yeah, let's not check that in stocks. Genesis, where are you? On duty, move to... Right, so, yeah, you're going up right now, aren't you? I mean, you better just appear over here really soon. You know what? We're gonna follow you. I want to know when you arrive. So, follow there. Oh yeah, he's almost there. He's almost there. Look at this. Right. Oh, and now the mans are gone. <laughs> yeah, of course, because <laughs> that's always how it goes. <laughs> balls all right ah well he's on his place now you know his proper place so everything should be good so um let us go down over here and see how it goes with our very big project dangerous project even Oh, howdy there, mans. Um, you know, your previous attack hasn't even left the area, and already there's new folks. So, yeah, we'll call the brew chanks upstairs, and let us watch some happy men slaughtering. Right, I think that we have more or less killed the majority of them. The rest, I mean, they'll get to us eventually, but the brute shanks, they can continue training again. So, <laughs> man's invasion dealt with <laughs> rather easy and quickly. Let us go down over here and uh, yeah, get some more lava flowing, right? Hmm, okay, so it seems that um, this command that I gave over here is not going to work. At least, I think that the cause for that is that there is like a floor missing. So, we will build the floor first, and then will we dig uh, this hole here. I think that that should... Game? <laughs> Stop pulling my freaking camera away! <laughs> I need it to be here! Anyway, we should right now see a gnome rushing down and build me this floor tile. And, uh, yeah, only then will we be able to fill up the next trench of uh, the nice shape. <laughs> the most beautiful shape there is, <laughs> and there ever will be. <laughs> that of a T. Now, uh, let's see. Right now, they should start digging this. And when the lava should flow, and really, I mean... Like I said, it's a little bit too high up there right now. So if we can get this to be at like, because right now, I don't know, what, what's it at? I think it's more or less at like 99% or something like that. Ooh, here it goes, here it goes. Oh, watch it flow, watch it flow, man. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, I've been wanting you for quite a while, green skins. <laughs> How good of you to come to the kingdom. Though, <laughs> yeah, there are mans, so I don't know how many of these green skins we'll be able to kill. But it's gonna be a good ma a few many, I think. Yes, most definitely. Look, that's at least two raiders that we can send <laughs> to the greenskin show land. <laughs> oh yeah, and I saw that they lost some body parts as well. Wait, <laughs> you're even bleeding inside the kingdom. Very good, <laughs> the man already did some work for us. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, it's gonna be game over for you goblins. Look, Trickler in Optima Forma, and I think once you're dead, yeah, they all leave. <laughs> Good. Now, um, yeah, we were just dealing with the lava down here, so I kind of want to finish that. 
Now, now that looks a little bit too low actually. I mean, it needs to have a good fill. Yeah, 57%, that's definitely not enough. Now, how much is in here? 212%. So, uh, we are going to crank a little bit more in there, but it's not going to be much. And I'm going to be monitoring this very, 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 very closely. So, just so you know. Now, alright, time to get this cranked up here. <laughs> well... <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be good, man. And see how slow it is flowing as well, because this should stabilize, really, but you can just see how incredibly slow that is going. Eventually, it will stabilize this, see? Slowly but surely. We're going to pump up quite a bit more lava in here. There they come, the gnomish workforce. Look, see? Right. Once this is filled up till here, then I'm going to stop. Because right now, yeah, see, 123%. I don't even know how much is down here. 146. Right. I think that this should do it. Right. So we're going to have them stop cranking. There. And then we'll see how this evens out. So. Good, well, um, now that we know, no, crap, I didn't want this one, stop turning, good, so, we got, wow, I mean, we're making actual progress, it's amazing, anyway, um, so, yeah, hello, green skin corpses and body parts and what have ya, <laughs> time to send you back home, <laughs> with, um, kind regards from the emperor of terror hand so um yeah let's see um first of all what we need to do is we need to deactivate the trickler so we're going to pull the lever and um we're going to see how this does really oh and look, look at you look at your sniping have you killed anyone no no uh, <laughs> otherwise it would have shown here you know it would have been like a tab but yeah, well. Ooh, actually, the goblin invasion. I mean, you must have shot. Or don't you have any ammo? That could be the case, of course. Yeah, you're kind of empty. Balls, really. Anyway, we're going to quickly check out if you have shot anybody. So, uh, combat. Uh, let's see. I think it was 7th day of fall. Right. Let's see. Ooh, Genesis versus Mant. Mant. Wow. Serpentine bolt. Piercing. And the arm has been mangled. That means that it cannot use it. Wow. That's actually pretty good already. And that's just the one Mant, really. Oh, man. I'm so loving this already. I'm sure he's in here, you know, in these fights as well, Genesis. But it's going to be... Like trying to find a needle in a haystack, so I'm sure that, that he'll do his thing. But now though, um, yeah, we're going to send an insult. <laughs> and uh, First, I need the trickler to be disabled, so let's get that sorted. Let's see, in fact, no, 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 I need the job here. Task, ooh, I am actually going to flip the lever. And I'm close as well. It's only fitting that I open the gates of <laughs> my own kingdom. Because I am also going to be the one who is going to send the insult. There. <laughs> Goblin limbs. <laughs> Goblin corpses. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> uh, insult amount. We're, they're going to be infuriate. I actually didn't even take a look at that. Annoy. Alright. So, again, let's let's do this again, and let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> goblin corpses? <laughs> goblin limbs. I don't have any goblin heads, I don't believe, but <laughs> if I had those, I would have sent them too. Here, have your raiders back. And I am the one who's going to do that. The emperor of all the gnomes. I mean, it would only be fitting that I would do it, you know, as the head of state. <laughs> Oh man, that's going to add extra insult to injury. There. Now then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be good. <laughs> Wait, I haven't... I think that I, you know, I'll send off the goods once I leave the map. 
Hopefully, I won't encounter any mans on my way off to the map. There is that chance, of course, because we kind of neglected to kill them all. I don't know, really. So far, I am going to keep an eye on them. I mean, I am the head of state. It is important that I do not die, <laughs> you know, <laughs> whilst on my way. Oh, there! We're sending insults to the green skin. <laughs> oh man, do I love it. And yeah, look at... You know what's even more amazing? That these corpses, they were lying here. <laughs> but now <laughs> that I'm off the map, all of a sudden, the corpses have gone too. Anyway, uh, we need to pull the lever again. So the trickler is live. And uh, wow, there we have it, really. I mean, let's quickly take a look back over here at the lava. I must say that this looks rather good, like this. Admit it, I mean, it could be a little bit higher, you know, just... Actually, once the floors are done, it could just be all up till the brim, really. I mean, that would, wouldn't look so bad. It's a shame of these walls, really, but... Oh, well. Anyway, um, yeah, so, well, um... Hmm. <laughs> Sending insults to the greenskins! Yeah, this is going to be good. Now, uh, I hope that the lever is going to be pulled soon, cause, Skullmeister, I don't know where you are, but I need you to pull the freaking lever right now. So yeah, here we are, and what? Oh, come on, really. Someone pull this bloody lever, cause the Skullmeister went to sleep right before he was there. Right, Sam, Trickler is alive. We have sent insults to the Greenskins, and we got lava, or at least, well, a bit of it, down here at the T-shape. And, um, yeah, the big secret project is moving ahead. So, next time, we will definitely finish this, and, well, you know, I, <laughs> in the absence of the Emperor, will reveal more of it, you know, what we're going to do with this shape and this lava and all this gold and all that. So yeah, but until then, I'd say, join me next time when all of this and more will happen. <laughs>